Welcome back to my channel and another fun built episode of Icarus. This is going to be episode 18 of season 1. Last episode we started this long drawn out mission, which I feel like it's going to be long and drawn out, where I need to build a barracks somewhere, well not somewhere, here in the snow biome. And off camera I opted to build my own little longhouse, since that's the kind of design that I was going to go for in the uh, snow biome. So I built my own to kind of mimic off of. Uh, I'm quite happy with it. It still needs some structural holes added to it, and I'll eventually get to that as as we go. But I wanted to jump right into recording for you guys. So I do have some ore melting down, so we can make... Actually, we can do it now. We can make the... Uh, What is it called? Anvil. So we'll go ahead and craft that now. That way we can upgrade our weapons. So we can actually start harvesting more ore. As well as rocks. As you, can, as you can see, I've used up pretty much all of my durability of the current pickaxe and axe that we brought down from the station. So put that right here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Perfect. Okay, so we'll grab the nine. Put that there. I don't need a shovel, but I'll make two of these. Put some of this in here. So I need leather. Maybe it's in here. So first thing I personally want to make is a pickaxe. So I can get more ore. Because we're going to be needing a lot of ore. And I need to put this somewhere where I can find it easily. Let's see. Uh, in here. Let's go ahead and do this. And we'll make one chest. And that's where I'll keep this stuff. So I'll lose it. Could always run all the way back and put it in, in uh, the drop pod. I may end up doing that if I can ever remember to grab them if I ever happen to head that direction. So this is the uh, log cabin. House. Mansion. Whatever. I need to craft a torch. We're going to grab more ore. Oh. There you are. Any more? Okay. We're going to start here. So I'm still on the journey for exotic, any kind of exotic. So throughout this particular prospect, I'm going to go to several caves, and I'm just going to keep looking for exotic as I explore. A lot of the exploration may or may not be off camera. It depends on what's going on and what I need. Got some coal. Maybe I'll finally make that pistol and test it out on a polar bear. It does more damage to my bows. I'm not sure if it's faster. Hmm. How do we get up there? Okay. Further. Need a. Uh, Need to build a ramp. Okay. 
What's that? Okay. Weird you can't go down rock faces while crouched. To get out of here. Go in here and put the yeast away. Well, so I don't need any more of that. But what I will need is to make a mortar pedestal. Where the hell? There, also oh, here. So we'll make that. Maybe I'll make a few more black. Oh no, I want to stir. My leather. Herbalism. I can always make that bench real quick. Put this down. I like putting this on top. For whatever reason, it just seems appropriate. You mix on top of a table, not under it. Let's grab the bench. Got this. This right here. Alright, so what all do I need in order to make whatever yeast? Let's put the yeast aside here. I'll take some sulfur. Does something need sulfur in here? No. I don't need any sulfur. Where's my yeast? Oh, there it is. But what I do need a lot of, from what it seems to be, is the reed flower and lilies. question is am I ever going to need more than the current that I have? Am I ever gonna need another plastic? One's gonna be enough. Pretty much everything that I need. It's like a cooking station too, just so we can say we made one. I've never made one of these.
machining bench. I need 40 iron ingots, 120 nails. What else do I need? Stone, I've got plenty of stone. Epoxy. Alright, well I'm gonna let that work. That'll that'll be the easy way to make epoxy. Uh rope twenty-four. I need fourteen more of that. Maximum. And uh, just the iron, really. I mean, I could always get more wood. Got the wood now. Put a couple hundred of that in. Maybe not this one. This one. Not even that one. This one. Okay, so let's make that epoxy. How much can I make? 22. How much steel bloom? Four. like to make the longbow just to have it okay so I just need the iron and the iron nail So they say with the progression, it's not so bad. You don't need persistent basis because you get to progress with your benches. But yet you still need to go from your crafting bench in order to get to your machining bench in order to get to the next one after that, whatever that is. What is after that? Fabricator, which is very expensive, which requires other things in between. So it's not exactly... as they say. I mean, yes, you do get to keep them, but it doesn't feel like proper progression. It feels more like a band-aid. Which, I guess to some people, that's okay. And to each their own. I wouldn't mind having a couple missions with a persistent base. Let's see, I need this. But before I need, I need this, damn, everything needs so much iron. Alright, well, let's go ahead and make a couple... 
Hmm. Can I make them now? We'll start off with 20. And 20 will make... I need... Okay. We're gonna need more fiber. Actually, let's go to sleep. Start off with another day. I need to make a few floors. Let's see. How much can I make? Let's take it all out. What's the max? 15? I'm going to start off with 10. And we'll go from there. And as far as bedding, I wonder how much of that I can make. Probably none. I don't have the appropriate gear. I guess I technically do. So I guess I'll make all six of those. Or, or not. Oh, that's right, they take 20. I'll make three of them at least. Then... Let's see, I don't need spoiled plants. Put that away. can't make anything. I kind of want to go out there already and build something. Let's keep the sulfur here. The silica. I'll take the arrows with me. And I've got lots of fiber, so maybe I'll chop down another tree. And then we'll head out there and place down something. Some watermelon. All right, now can I? What the hell? Now can I make it all the way to where I need to go without encountering a polar bear? Still not properly equipped, so this is kind of risky, especially with that polar bear right there. Sneak by him. So we are where I want to build. Still a stupid place to build up in the lake. But here we are. And we're taking damage because of the storm. So I need to put the stuff down quick. Just let it be there. under like that, but alright. Um, here, and another one there. Okay, so I need to build one more at least. Okay, so that will be... Okay, well, that's a foundation. That's good enough. 
I need I have ten of these. Oh crap. Of course. Why not? Wouldn't have it any other way. The way this game builds things, I wish it would show a grid. So that at the very least you're putting things in the right spot. Alright. That's one be here. That guy is freezing. I need to hurry up. I am not equipped for this. So there's those, and I guess this will be the entrance over here, so let's build a ramp. Okay. build more in this direction. This here. This here. And one more here. Two more there. Two more there. Feel safe. Feel cold as hell though. It's telling me I need to build whatever. Come on, put it right there. There we go. And, oh, one more. Now, hopefully when I come back out here, this all isn't destroyed. That's going to make this a little, a little bit more frustrating. Start building walls though. What can I make? Well, it's a good start. As far as the bedding goes, I want to put that down as well. So, I'm probably making this a little bit more intricate than I need to because, you know, I'm just supposed to put things down and then get the hell out of here. Yeah. But that, that's, that's kind of boring. So I'm going to build an actual place that I would like to live. For now, this is about as good as it's going to get. I can make one more of these. Although the next time I come out here, I think I'm going to have proper equipment. Now it's just a matter of getting back. Is that a bear? That is a bear. I need to get back before I get myself killed. But I'm not exactly convinced or confident that I can pull that off. Home sweet home. Yeah. You still take damage while you're not here. That does worry me for what I did build out there. Can I build any kind of fur now? Ooh, broke. Lots of broke. It's uh, 70 of them. Look pretty damn expensive.
Epoxy, rope, iron heat. Rope I have. Gotta have a poxy in it. Okay. Poxy iron ingot rope. Neon stone. Hit this. There we go. Right. All right. So what can I make? I guess I can make just the trousers. It's something though. Put the rest of it in there. Silica and stone and grease. Silica. Where's that wolf? Every time I hear a wolf, I want to find it. Die shot. Just because of the fur. There's eight. We're gonna level up here not too long. See if I get that out of the 25%. Four pieces.
I've got the clay, or the cement, concrete. I think I need 12, though. Wait. I need 20. Jesus. Okay. I keep forgetting that. But it seems like it's, it's always so much to me. I need more iron, too. So I'm going to need to get more stone. And the only way I know to get stone is big ass stone. See if I can get it. I can. Perfect. So that means I can carry up to 165. That's great. What is this? Increase stealth and storms. Well, I'm not necessarily against that. That's useful. What is this? Don't care about that. I really don't care about this. Instead of going into all of this, maybe I'll put two into this. I mean, 5% movement speed while crouched. It, well, no, I don't really care about that. Leather can be useful, though. What about fur? Fur is what I need. should do. I wonder if leather will double up into fur. I don't see anything else in here once that says fur. The bones would be nice, but that's not what I'm after. I guess I'll do leather. Screw it. No fur, though. 10% is 10%. Oh, I've got two points. Alright, so now I should be able to get into the ghillie armor. So yeah, I'll definitely be able to get all the way down to the polar bear. There's no way I wouldn't be able to. Got ten more levels. So the next one will go into bounce back. I suppose one more into heavy hitter. I could do movement speed, that's just not really relevant to me personally. It only saves a couple minutes, I don't know why everyone's so focused on that. Maybe I'll do this. I mean, 20% more is useful. So I'll do one bounce back. And then I'll do two weight and wood. I might even do this one, 10% yield. I do make a log cabin first thing, so. Okay. Get a little board. I need more wood. Go ahead and throw 150 more in there. Let it do its thing. Throw the rest of the gold in there just to hold it. Well, I guess I'll throw all, all the iron in there. See if I can't make another piece of armor. What do I need for here? 24? That's the one I need. That I want. I'll hold off. So. I really should do this. Carrying weight of ores. 10%. The other backpack uh, gives me, what is it, 5% bonus to speed, which is okay, but it's not amazing. But I want us to carry weight. So, let's just make sure I understood that. Mm -hmm. Falling, oh, falling resists 25%. That's probably why I haven't broken my leg yet. And a 50% chance. Hmm. Interesting. 
but the weight capacity is also nice, 5%. It's 173. What is going on with my frames? I might need to reset my computer again. But that's okay because this episode's nearly complete. I'm just going to Oh, another wolf. Go fall down. Yes. I that would give me my 24. I can get at least one more wolf. I think I'll have everything I need. That gives me. Well, that was it. That was all 24. Oh. Yeah, I had 26. I need, what, 10 more? Yeah. Getting there, though. So, if my understanding is correct, now, if I were to go out to the frost stone or snow biome, I won't get that. that Frost effect along the edge of the screen. Oh, maybe this is what I should be making. Hunter chest armor. Take a look at the difference. One does negative 30, so this one's really good for cold resistance, but my exposure, well, I guess this is better. I wonder when I would need this specifically. I like the stamina regeneration when I got the full set. And then the crouch speed. So this is really good for sneaking. Obviously. So. Keep that in, keep that in mind. You. What else can we make here? I kind of think I might need a shovel. I'm feeling I'm going to need a shovel. I'm going to take it. Make one of you, though. And I need pretty much everything. The rope, aluminum. Oh, in order to make aluminum, I'm going to need to make a steel pickaxe. Require six steel for a pocket. No so a lot of this is just me going back and forth to all my different workstations, which is kind of a bummer. Not the most exciting thing to watch. But like always, there's something I just need to do in order to get to the next area. It's bringing me and put that away. Alright, so I think it's time to repair the one. I do, I need to go out and get some wood. Or not. I have a feeling that. I wasn't a very strong form. Oh, it's just the worst of it right there. I was expecting something to happen. It doesn't even affect free spell. That gives me 18. I need to get ten kind of epoxy. 12 more iron ingots. Copper. Do I have copper on me? Oh, I do. So I've got the copper that I need. Still need lots of fur. I need at least 40 more fur, so it doesn't really matter ultimately. Um, getting things ready because I'm going to go and do another trip. I don't know if I'm going to do that this episode or the next one. Depends on how fast I get things ready. 
but it's going to happen. Let's destroy this. Um, do I need nails? I don't think so. I also don't need stone. It's unfortunate I made this because I wanted to play with this stuff, but I just never got the chance to. Health regeneration is nice, I suppose. I need to get three. That's what I need right there. Hmm. I know where to get it too. You need to go down to the water. Lakes specifically. I can always plant it though. Look at this. Oh, that's not what I'm gonna do. I don't need that in there. Nor do I need this. Put that in there though. To get darker. Okay. So let's get some more fiber. I'm pretty much out of time. I was hoping to make one more trip out there this episode, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that. I've already got quite a bit that I need to edit down. So I will finish getting everything ready off camera. So at the start of the next episode. I can just run out there and hopefully finish the mission. I may have to do more than one trip, maybe two at the most. And then we can get off this rock and get our points and then go after another uh, prospect and have some fun. So, with that said, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a message letting me know what you think. Any tips, tricks, or hints would be greatly appreciated. I'm the Ambient King, and I'll see you in the next one.